everybody welcome to my channel you're watching Kate Cook Island I am K1 Mildred and I welcome you again and say happy new year happy new year 2019 is the very first video of the year and I just want to wish you a very happy and fulfilling new year 2019 thank you so much for being with us for always watching our videos I don't know when you joined the community maybe last year maybe 2017 you're all welcome again to my channel and thanks for the support last year and um, uh, we've been together on this journey now for almost two years and I thought about making a get to know me video it's been a minute because life happens and sometimes it gets really busy and I really wanted to do a, a video but some kind of a way I don't find the time to do videos like before that's why I'm doing this video it's about 10 p.m. now and I'm doing some fish with somebody. Last year, towards the end of last year, I decided to monetize some of the recipes you see on the channel. So now I make stuff for people, chin chin, fish roll, meat pie. You know, it doesn't hurt to have multiple sources of income. So I'm making this for somebody and I decided to, I mean, record this video while doing it because I don't seem to find the time to do it. So as I was saying, I decided to do a get to know me video. Some of you have just been watching me while I cook and maybe you had some questions on things you wanted to know about me. So I posted on the community, you know when you come to my channel there's a part on the bars you see the videos, you see community, you see about. I think there are like four items there. So there's a part of community where sometimes I post questions or I post um, a pool or different things on there so you can always check the community let's make the community you know it's an interactive place we can interact more so I posted there if any of you guys had questions for me and I posted on Facebook as well on my Facebook page and if you're not following me on Facebook you can always check case for the goodies on Facebook I'll leave a link in the description box so that you can follow me on Facebook so I also left the message on Facebook and some some of you guys sent in questions. So it's time for you to know a little bit about K1 and thanks for those of you who sent in questions. I'm going to read the questions and I will try to answer as much as I can. I'm trying to roll my fish here. So the very first question I received, I received from Divine Favor. She's on YouTube, she's a fellow sister and the Cameroonian also, and she's on YouTube, and her name on YouTube is My Life as Favor. I'll leave a link to her channel so you can also check her out, okay? She does many things, so lifestyle, food, do it yourself, many stuff that you can check. She's amazing, you should check her out. So Favor asked me the first thing, where are you from? <laughs> and I'll try to answer as much and as, as detailed as possible, where am I from? I am uh, from Cameroon, from the northwest part of Cameroon, from the Anglophone Cameroon. And to be more precise, I'm from So, 100% So, <laughs> Banso for some people. Some people will know as Banso, so I'm from that part of Cameroon. And the second thing Fevo asked me, she asked me, why did you start a channel? I came on YouTube, I started to use my YouTube channel some two years ago, 2016, I think, to be more precise, but I posted the very first video in the January of 2017. And before starting the YouTube channel, I, start, I had a blog. I was writing recipes and other things. Maybe some of you know my blog, k1blogs.com. And so many people were asking the recipes. They wanted to see me make them, not just writing the recipes. They wanted to see videos of how I make the things. And after some consideration, I decided to start a YouTube channel. They say pictures are worth a thousand words. So videos are worth much more, I think, because the world is becoming virtual. What you see sticks more. So that's why I started a YouTube channel. Okay. And the next question Fevo asked me was, why choose cooking as a niche? Wow, that's an amazing question. <laughs> Why choose cooking? Cooking to me is a passion. As I said, 
in my description that I, I was raised by a mom who had a restaurant. We come, I come from a lineage of seasoned cooks and cooking is a passion that I want to share that passion with others. I want to inspire people who can make easy things, easy recipes in their own kitchen. So yeah, it's a passion. I love to do it and that's why I decided to do a channel on food besides everybody eats. That's one thing that binds people together. So that's one thing that made me to start a YouTube channel. And the last question I got from, still from Divine Favor, she asked me, what is that character you hate in humans? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. <laughs> There are many things I dislike in people, like there are some characters I can't stand in some people. And that one thing, if I can narrow down to one thing, is arrogance. That's one thing I can't deal with. I can't deal with arrogance. Pride and everything is just a turn off. Guys, I'm trying to wrap some fish roll here. So there's something I wanted to show you with the wrapping, but I'm sure I'll do that towards the end of this video. Thanks again for those questions, Fevo. I also received questions from uh, Miss William, Sally, Miss William, and she's also on YouTube, she's also a YouTuber. And her channel, the name of her channel is Miss William, I, I think. I'm going to leave a link to her channel. She's amazing as well. She's a fellow Cameroonian, and her channel is about makeup. If you want to know how to get those smoky eyebrows, <laughs> You can visit Miss Williams, she does it really good. She's amazing, you should check her out. And she asked me, how long have you been on YouTube? I've been on YouTube for two years now. The first, as I said earlier, I published the very first video in January 2017, was it 2016? But I know it's two years now, I think, two years. And she asked me, have you experienced negativity on YouTube? If yes, how do you deal with it? I think that's a very good question. I would say I've not experienced negativity. I've experienced it on YouTube, but not maybe to a great extent like others. But, you know, sometimes you publish a video, especially recipes, because my channel is all about food, right? And somebody comes and leaves a very negative comment like you've just that's not how that food is made or it's, it's a terrible recipe or you should go learn how to do this or let it be done by people who know how to do it better i think those are some of the things i've experienced on youtube and you ask how i deal with it you know i remember when i just started blogging the very first years of my blogging or the very first year I experienced some of these negative comments and negative people. And one thing that stuck with me, my husband gave me a counsel, he gave me some counsel back then, he said, someday you may be famous. And because of that, some people will praise you and some people will criticize you harshly. Don't let the praises get to your head and don't let the criticism get to your heart. And that stuck with me. Sometimes when you meet people who are negative, it's not about you, they have issues and you don't have to let it get to your heart. So what I read, sometimes I read and I laugh and I'm like, like somebody said something like, I can't really remember. He said something about humans are cruel, left a comment on my chicken, grilled chicken video. The person left a comment that humans are cruel. Can you imagine how the chicken will be feeling? And something very, I mean, it could be negative. Maybe he meant it negative, but when I read the comment, I laughed and I said, oh, that's so funny. To me, it was funny. I just looked at, mm, this is somebody who has issues. It's not about me, it's about the person. So when you experience negativity, don't let it get to your heart. And when you experience Praises because some other people will come on my channel and are like, oh, you're amazing. We could watch you all day. Don't let it get to your, to your head. So don't let negativity get to your heart and don't let praises get to your head. And Sally also asked me another question. She said, 
uh, I've been following your recipes for some time now and they are very good and different. Oh, thank you, Sally. That's lovely. Thank you so much. So she asked, did you create them or you learn from other people? Okay, thank you so much. It's so encouraging that you find the recipes good and different. And yes, I create some and yes, I learn some from others. There are some recipes that, you know, there are those traditional recipes handed down from my mom and some recipes I get from others. But one thing I do is that I always add a touch like a case touch on any recipe I get, I don't leave them the way they are. So what I do is that some recipes that I learn from people, from people around me, even when I get to a restaurant sometimes and I eat something, I want to recreate that thing. So I, I yeah, I get it from others too. And there are some that I just create, like um, the plantain quiche. You know, I adapt them sometimes from what I eat somewhere. So I get to try it. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So when it works, then I share it with others. When it doesn't work, I throw it aside. So yeah, so that's it. And um, some other person asked me the question, are you married, do you have kids? Yes, I am. <laughs> I am married and I have kids. I have two amazing kids. Sometimes you hear them in some channels, some videos, not channels. Sometimes you hear them in the background. I have two kids. Another question I got, somebody asked me where I reside and what languages I speak and if I could make some videos in French. So the first thing is I reside in Belgium. I'm in Belgium right now and I speak English first, a little bit of French and I understand a little Dutch. And um, if I can speak, make videos in French, not yet. My French is basic. At least I can buy, I can shop in French and I understand French. I know, I know. Sometimes people assume if you are from Cameroon, you should be bilingual. You should be able to speak English and French fluently. Sorry to disappoint you, I don't speak fluent French, but at least I understand. So maybe we are not going to have videos in French just yet. Maybe in the future, we'll see about that. Then, some other person asked me my background, if I did food, if I studied the things, the recipes I'm writing, if I studied them in school or something. No, I didn't study them. I didn't go to any catering school or anything like that. The recipes you see, they're handed down from home, from my mom, and some I picked them along the way. And my background, I'm a trained journalist, yeah, and an anthropologist as well. And, uh, yeah, that's about that. That's at the side. But right now I'm a YouTuber and bringing you good recipes from my kitchen, home cook as well. And uh, a side hustler, a side caterer. I make food for people, I cook for people. That's what I do. <laughs> and uh, somebody asked me, what advice I can give to people, small YouTubers, people who are just beginning. I am beginning as well, or maybe I'm not a beginner, but if I can advise young people who are just joining YouTube, who are just starting the, their channel or who are struggling to grow their channel, I will advise you to stay focused and to stay on your grind. Do not get caught up with the rat race. What do I mean by rat race? Well, with social media, everybody wants to promote their thing and sometimes it's easy to get caught up with competition, competing with others. Don't, don't get caught up in that because it's going to kill your creativity. Stay on your lane. Focus on you. Focus on growing your channel. You know, some time ago, my husband, <laughs> he said, I watch my YouTube videos more than every other person. Try to watch your videos. When you do your thing, try to watch. If you look so closely at what you're doing, you'll see areas where you need to improve, you'll see areas where you need to grow, you'll see things that need to be done differently. So focus on your lane. Don't look at what every other person is doing. Once you got to YouTube for a reason, you have a niche and concentrate on that. Focus on getting that grow. Nurture it. It's like a baby. So you have to nurture your baby and make it. So that was it for the questions. I don't know 
maybe you have some other things that you would like to ask me feel free to ask in the comment section below and if you want me to make some of this just talking video chit chat videos let me know apart from that i think that okay on the kitchen table sometimes we have stories sometimes we have things we want to talk about it's not always about the food so maybe somewhere in in the year this 2019 maybe somewhere i'll have some chit chat videos or if i have something that i really want us to talk about i'm going to come on here and talk about it okay so if you have any other thing you want to know about k1 please leave it in the comment section below and at the beginning i told you i was making fish show so i want to show you just one last thing before i end this video about this fish show something somebody asked me a while ago on the channel i don't know if this was on the channel or on facebook but i just want to show you one trick one something that i do with my fish when i rub it to keep it closed so when i'm frying it doesn't open it's a little trick it comes with experience after doing it for so many times for so long i developed some skills that i want to just share it freely with you guys <laughs> So guys, when rolling your fish oil, one little trick that works every time, if you don't want it to open while you're frying it, then you're rolling it towards the end like here. Just dip your hands in a little water, fresh water, just clean water. Dip your hands and kind of just make, smear the water a little bit at the edge. Then you carefully close it. This way you're sealing it and no matter what happens, it doesn't open while you're frying. I, th I just thought that was a little trick that I could show you in this chit chat video. So guys, that was it about our chit chat video. That was it about the get to know me. And if you think it wasn't sufficient, that's okay. Still leave a comment below. Let me know what exactly you want to know about me. And I promise I'm going to respond, I'm going to answer. And without much ado, thanks for watching this video and thanks for sticking around. I wish you a very fruitful 2018. 2019, remember to be grateful. Remember to keep track of those good things that are coming your way. So at the end of it, you can look back and really thank God for uh, a year and thank God for your accomplishments. Till I see you again, to so stay blessed. Bye-bye.